Welcome to the VMware Integrated OpenStack product demonstration. Today we will show how simple it is to deploy OpenStack on your VMware vSphere infrastructure. First we start by clicking on the VMware Integrated OpenStack plugin. Next we will click on Deploy OpenStack. We can either enter the values in brand new or we can import an existing template of values that we have set in advance. I will choose the second option. On this screen, we enter our vCenter credentials. On this screen, we select our management cluster that will run all of our control plane components for the OpenStack cloud. This would include the Nova API services, the database cluster, and any other services that are required for our OpenStack cloud to run properly. Next, we specify our management network setting, which is the IP range where all of the OpenStack management components will communicate with each other and then the OpenStack API access network setting, which specifies the range of network addresses for our load balancers that users will access the cloud through. On this screen, we specify the IP address for the virtual IP that will be served up to users to access the cloud through, and we also specify a DNS host name so that users can use either the DNS name or the IP address for that virtual IP in their automation scripting. On this screen, we select the first compute cluster that will be used by the OpenStack control plane to deploy workloads. In production, you can have multiple vSphere clusters being used by VMware Integrated OpenStack. However, for now, we will select the first one, which is production. We can also select our storage for use by the compute service and the block storage service using data stores. This differentiates running OpenStack on vSphere versus OpenStack on other platforms because we simplify the storage management process. Cloud administrators simply select the data store that will be used by the OpenStack cloud instead of having to configure individual LUNs and disk array devices. We also select one or more data stores to be used by the Glance image service. Now we enter the credentials for our VMware NSX manager. and enter relevant values such as the transport zone for all of our overlay tenant network communications, the cluster that will be used for the edge routers, as well as the distributed switch, the external network for assigning floating IPs, as well as the size of our routers that will be deployed. Here we select whether we use the Keystone database for user management, or use an Active Directory LDAP server. Finally, we configure the syslog server, where all of the control plane syslog messages will be forwarded to. If you remember during the vApp deployment, if we configure the syslog server for the vApp, that information is automatically populated for the OpenStack control plane during the wizard. Finally, we can select to join the customer experience improvement program where anonymized data is shared with VMware about the usage of the product so that we can bring even more improvements and features to future releases. So on this review screen, we can see that all of our selections have been entered and we can review any of them to see if we have any issues with any of the resource allocations. 
If you notice at the proposed configuration screen, we can see that our control plane has been reduced compared to previous releases of VMware Integrated OpenStack. We still have the pair of load balancer VMs, but you'll see here that we no longer have distinct VMs for Memcached as well as RabbitMQ. Their functions are being served by the controller VM pair now. And for the rest of the setup, it remains the same. We have the three database VMs running in a Galera cluster configuration and a compute driver that corresponds to the compute cluster that has been allocated to VMware Integrated OpenStack. Once we're happy with all the settings, we can go ahead and click Finish. So at this moment, the VMware Integrated OpenStack control plane is being deployed by our management server through cloning of the template VM with automation tools configuring each virtual machine to form the required task in the control plane. So we'll come back later to check on the status of our cloud deployment. And we see the deployment is complete. We can go ahead and click on the deployment name, VIO. And we can see all of our control plane VMs up and running with the service ready state. This concludes the demonstration. Thank you.